Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Amber Michelle, and today's video is going to be how I'm prepping for baby. I've never prepped for a baby this late. This is baby number eight, and my goal was to basically get all of my projects done before I even um, did all of this. We are so close to having all of our projects done. If you wanna check out those videos, um, I'm about to post episode three this week of Prep My House for Baby. Uh, we're also prepping the house because we are wanting to sell in the spring. And so um, right now we're just getting ready for sweet baby boy to come. And today's video is gonna be all about that. So basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna see us pull everything out, uh, put things together, and gather all the items that's needed for him to come. I was starting to feel a lot of um, pain and pressure. I am currently 35 weeks and two days today. And so I felt like it was, okay, skip some of the things that we were doing and get this stuff ready for the baby. All right, so I'm gonna take you along today. It's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite parts of uh, pregnancy is when we actually prep, wash, and get ready for the new baby. It means that the time is coming near. Um, I've never went this late. I usually have everything ready between 30, 34 weeks, and then pack my hospital bag around this time. So we have a lot to do, and that's okay. Um, I'm going to take you along, and hopefully you enjoy seeing how this large family preps for our brand new baby. So the first thing that I'm gonna empty and go through, and I know it looks like a complete mess right now, is under this staircase, it's just storage. It is just storage under the um, stairs and we've used it since we moved in to have extra storage. So I'm just pulling things out. We keep luggage, we keep things like that under there. And I've also been stuffing baby items um, that I'm getting out like diaper bag and diapers. Stella, my baby. We're also gonna be going through this. I've just used this to house things that I bought for the baby. And this is also where we keep diapers, wipes. And um, I love this. I love this armoire. It is obviously a vintage armoire, but I love that it gives me extra storage in an older home. So this looks like a whole lot of stuff. It probably is. Um, this is the things we have to put together and then some things that I've collected. This back here is some garage sale. Now we're gonna head up to the attic and get down the containers and the things that have uh, baby clothes and blankets and all the supplies that I have to sort through and wash. So let's go to the very hot, very muggy, Louisiana attic. All right, there she is in all her glory. And yes, this is all things piled for garage sale and things I've been throwing out of my house because I'm nesting and man things and all that. All right, up we go. We have been piling things up here. Uh, in the spring it was very organized and this is what it is now that's all garage sale this is all our clothes storage Christmas fall and then memory storage yep we've got a lot of stuff time is of the essence we have a few minutes before we can't function because it's probably way over 100 degrees up here. Okay, we're gonna grab stuff and get it down. Here we go. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so this is literally, uh, what would you say, Mia 10 at the most minutes we're pouring. Mia got stung by some foreign object and uh, yeah, this is the reality of Louisiana in the summer. Okay. Okay, so the next piece of the puzzle of the process is basically that I brought in the things from the attic that we need to go through and we're just making a wash pile um, of unisex or boy blankets and burp cloths and then we're gonna start going through the, the uh, clothes. So um, most of the things that I have are girl items right now and that's basically because my last two babies are girls. I haven't had a boy since 2012, which is Samuel, and he is eight years old. So we'll see what we have left from him. Uh, my sister-in-law gave me some clothes from her baby. He's um, two, but she had already given all the baby, baby stuff away. So I have purchased a lot of things myself, and you'll get to see all of that in my What I Bought for Baby video. I'll definitely overview some of the things that I have gotten for this baby. update so since the hurricanes we've been having power issues here in Abbeville and I mean praise the Lord we were out of power for 24 hours some people were out way longer I know how excruciating that is um, and needing like generators and all that stuff so everything's kind of been put on hold but we have got a lot done so we've gotten the pack and play put together I have loads of laundry going there's loads behind me and so I'm just gonna take this time and um, go through my fall decor box I pulled out of the attic and just do what I can until we get some power. Yesterday this happened and everything was on like a quarter power, maybe like 10% power, and it took about an hour. But the house got super hot and it took a while to catch back up. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to all come back on. I have definitely hit a wall at this point. I am feeling very tired. Last night was one of my worst nights of sleep this pregnancy. I had restless legs and that was because something I had been dreading, we finally did. We got the van done and I got outside around 9.30 and started pressure washing um, all around the house with the, the uh, hurricane that had passed through. We had lots of um, just leaves and dirt and mud and just muck everywhere. So I was just cleaning to get the van clean, which took us five hours. It was totally embarrassing. I knew I should have made a video about it. Um, just it's a good before and after, but it was just too much work. And I am just too big for all of that. So 
I'm sitting down editing a video uh, surrounded by chaos. But if you had smell a vision right now, if you could smell the beautiful, wonderful smell of drift, if you've had a baby and then you relate that smell to your new baby, oh, it's such a good smell and it makes me so happy. So I've only gotten one clothes load done so far. Uh, the second one is in the dryer. Magnolia's testing out Magnolia's testing out Ezra's stroller, and you can just see there's just piles of clothes, and then as, as I spin around, this is behind me, things that are done, and um, just taking a break. The painting isn't going to get done. Our paint guy got stuck in traffic after his doctor's appointment, and... He's not gonna be back in time to finish today. So we went in there and started working on some trim. We got a lot of stuff done and uh, it won't take him long to finish tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll get Addie's room put back together and um, my hospital stuff washed and get those bags packed. So we're getting close. It's just time for a break. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Uh, it is day two of baby prep and we are making a lot of progress. I had to leave everything just a complete disaster last night. I was exhausted. Everyone was tired. And we had really did a lot. And uh, it just ended up taking, for whatever reason, a whole lot of work. Good morning. Good Hello, morning. Everyone. Oh, okay. So we've got baby swing over here. And I'm going to give you like a tour at the end of everything and where it ends up and how I set up my baby stuff you can see we have stuff piled here Addie and Mia's room still being painted so their stuff's there we've got all baby clothes and blankets all washed all of this is going up to the attic in just a few minutes good morning Stell good morning. morning um stroller and everything set up and ready over here and um the bassinets upstairs I'm gonna show you all those things at the end and um we're gonna get this thing done today all right here we go drawers um, cleaned out and ready for baby stuff and I'm, I'm just organizing everything by um, size or what it is I have stuff sorted by newborn and then zero to three I have like the um, laying mat my Moby wrap towels and rags blankets behind me and I'm just gonna sort everything in and I'm gonna show you um, how I put everything I'll show you how I'll put everything in a minute, but that's what I'm doing right now. Just sorting and then picking out what's going into the hospital bag. So as you can see, he does not have a lot of hanging clothes. He's next to Magnolia and I'll just slide him down a little bit and that's his hanging clothes. So pretty much have everything uh, washed and put up. I'm still waiting to get the girls room put together completely before I can set up his changing table where it goes. But um, as you can see, I didn't know how much I was going to have. I was cautious of how much I actually bought. But his diaper bag is packed. That's stuff that I got to bring um, downstairs that's going to stay there. But I got his changing table put together. Tested the wipe warmer, had this for a few kids, and it works great. And here I'm going to do his diapers and Stella's di Magnolia's diapers, Magnolia's, and her, um, this is the nighttime by Hello Bello. I did his blankets, um, the bigger ones down here, the more thick blankets, and in this little compartment, I just have some extra stuff. So there's extra, this is like um, bibs and stuff. He won't use that for a little while. Some extras, uh, different things. And then his drawers. 
here I have his hats. He has a few little booties, socks, and mittens. And this is some swaddles and burp cloths. His Moby wrap, I don't know if I'll leave that here, and his nursing cover, one of them that I have. And his second drawer is all zero to three. I went ahead and did that, and this is 90s, um, like gowns and 90s, onesies and pants, and his little Christmas outfit. And then the top is all newborn. And kind of the same deal, I did his um, all-in-ones, pants, onesies, gowns, and a couple little outfits. The one thing that I do know that he doesn't have is any newborn long sleeve onesies. I don't know how big he's gonna be, so I may just get one or two, just so he has something. Anyway, I'm not sure on that yet. Okay, so this is my bed, and I started laying out my stuff because I'm packing my hospital bag today. But this is the bassinet that we got for him. It's um, the Graco Sense to Soothe, and I think it's just basically a dupe on the um, on. It's a uh, it's basically a dupe on the Snoo, and then I bought this um, cozy sleeper for his head and and his um supposedly these make them feel like they're more in the womb this is where i normally keep in this box here uh baby stuff next to my bed i'll set that up probably when he gets home and then noisemaker chargers all those things so this is where he'll be next to me right here in the room and last but not least this is baby's um Porta crib, playpen. It came with the changing table, and this is his little snuggly co sleeper that I just have here. This is also his little play mat. And then it also comes with like a little bouncer seat and a um, mobile, and it converts from infant to toddler. I hope you guys enjoyed this prep for baby video all about us getting ready for this new baby boy to arrive. Um, as you can see, I'm in something different. It is a different day, days got away from us, but I wanted to be able to show you um, where everything was for our little man. All right, so I want you guys to never forget whatever you're going through, God is always there. Be blessed and peace. peace.